Greetings, and welcome to episode 47. In today's episode, we will be discussing negative energy removal, also known as cleansing. I would also like to point out that, if you haven't noticed, it's been about a week and a half that I haven't made a, a video. It's because I've had in-laws visiting for about a week and a half. And they left this past Saturday, and today is Tuesday. I didn't make a video yesterday because I had a lot of running around to do, but I don't today, so I'll be getting back into the swing of things, video every day, except for a Saturday and Sunday. I was going to do a side notes to explain all this, but I figured I'd just put it in the intro of my next video. <laughs> anyway, I'm back, so if you missed me, here we go. So if we're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, what is cleansing? Well, cleansing would be the removal of any type of energy. Depends on who you are and what you want. Uh, in my case, it would be removing negative energy from a particular area, be it a garage, house, apartment, whatever. It doesn't matter how big the size, the space you want to remove the energy from. It takes a little effort, but it doesn't, it's not impossible. It can be done. You don't have to be a pagan or spiritual or any of that. It takes very little. Now, a lot of people would say, get a smudge stick. <laughs> but you still need to know how to do it. You can't just light it up and think everything's going to be okay. There's a certain meditation that you have to be doing. You have to know how to use the sage in the first place, or else it's not going to work. You have to know how to dispel negative energy, which is kind of easy because all you really need to do is put out more positive energy. And the whole reason that you're smudging, how do I put this? You're making your positive energy a tangible thing with the smoke. And the smoke helps clear out the negative energy. And sage is a high energy herb. So that's why you use sage but there are other ways to use sage you don't have to burn it and you don't even have to use sage when I cleanse an area or remove energy or smudge I use incense because instead of just going around the house once or twice now I'm leaving the, the incense burn after I've already smudged and so you, you're getting a prolonged effect as opposed to, uh, or should I say a sustained effect as, suppo as opposed to uh, uh, just a quick pass with a smudge stick. A smudge stick is it's a bundle of sage that's been tied together with string. And you burn the one end of it. You know, you don't leave it on fire like a torch, but you, you, you light the one end of it and it smolders like an incense. And you smudge. Now what you're going to want to do is the similar technique I taught about the regular meditation where you're breathing through the sensation of breathing. Like the breathing, like the breath itself is an emotion. That's what you're doing with the smudge stick while it's lit. That energy, the embers, the smoke, you're breathing through those things as though they were also an emotion. And also, you're not just breathing through it. As you're breathing through it, you're projecting through the breath your intention to foster positive energy where you believe there to be negative energy. Or just positive energy because you want to smudge your house. Because lifting the vibration of your living area is always a good thing. <laughs> it, I am not going to tell you it's easier with sage or easier with incense. I think it's mind over matter. I prefer incense because it smells a little better 
and you can leave this, the, the incense burn. And the smudge stick is not something you want to leave burn. You, you, you smudge and then you put it out and then you smudged. When I do it, I use the exact same technique that I just said, but I use incense to do it. And then you're leaving the incense in whatever room you see, you think the, that the majority of the negative energy is in, or you maybe place one in each room. But before you do that, you say you have a five room house or apartment. You take five incense sticks and you do what just what I just said about the sage. You light the incense, use the same breathing technique, and you go to the house. You can invoke whatever spirit, God, ancestors, whatever it is that you invoke. You can do that. But you're doing it with the incense instead of a smudge stick. Now you go to the house with each, with all the, the incense sticks in your hand, every one of them. And you go through the entire house, each room. I said five rooms. It can work for any number of rooms, but the more number of rooms, the more incense sticks. So you go through the whole house. I do it twice, go through twice. Now, on the third time through, you leave an incense stick in each room for sustained protection, if that's what you're after, uh, cleansing, if that's what you're after. Uh, it's It can work for both, actually. It is kind of what helps energy to cross from the emotional to the physical. It's through the smoke. The smoke represents the breath. So when you're breathing, you're breathing through the energy, like the ember at the tip of the incense or smudge stick, and the smoke itself. You're breathing your, you're breathing through these things, like these things are part of your breath, and your breath is part of your emotional state. And you're putting your intention through the breath, through the embers, through the smoke. Not something you even need to, you don't even need to maintain a connection with these incense sticks after you've placed them. The intention is locked and now is sustaining because you've got incense burning throughout the house. This can work, it doesn't matter if you are a, a light worker, it doesn't matter if you're a shadow worker. If you want to smudge your house for any reason, you, it doesn't have, you don't, people get the idea that, oh, I want to smudge it. Uh, you can smudge and draw whatever energy you want to you or your living quarters. It doesn't have to be positive energy. When I do it, it's positive energy. Don't get me wrong. Because I'm not saying, oh, you're Satanist, sir. And I'm saying, if you're here and you're looking at this and I don't care what your alignment is, you can use this technique. And if you're not sure about the meditation technique, I've got meditation videos. Go check them out. <laughs> well, at least one but my I believe my meditation technique is pretty solid it might not work for you this technique with the smudging and the incense might not work for you but uh, yeah negative energy can be it can be really bad uh, latent energy can make you sick it can, it, it can cause you stress that you're not even aware of uh, the last experience I had with latent negative energy there was a particular area in the house that if you went into that area of the house you got a migraine and got sick to your stomach both myself and my wife both experienced this uh, my children didn't because they never go into that area so but she experienced it, my wife, and I experienced it. And this was after I had already smudged the, the entire house. I mean, you could feel it through the whole house, but the whole, the rest of the house was cleansed, but this one area. And I had to smudge the house again. Matter of fact, I still have to smudge the house again because you can still feel the energy, and it's only coming from one area. So I'm going to get to that and fix that because yeah and at first I thought my wife was just like like psychosomatic but she said when she moved from the area 
she instantly started feeling better. Just moving to another part of the house made her feel better. She didn't feel nauseous or nauseated anymore. <coughs> and then I ended up experiencing the same thing she did. And then was like, wow, maybe I didn't do as good a job as I thought smudging. So I am going to have to do it again. I'm going to air out the house and then smudge the house again. I'm not sure if I have enough incense for the entire house, but I can at least do the, in the affected room. Because uh, like I said, negative energy, latent negative energy, any kind of energy can grow stagnant. And the more stagnant it is, the more it's likely to make you sick. Even positive energy can grow stagnant. That's why it's, it's a good idea to, you don't have to smudge to get rid of stagnant energy, but it's a good idea to open your doors and windows and air out the house. Just that fresh energy coming into the house. Air is energy. Sunlight is energy. Just have energy. I mean, I don't care what your alignment is. Eventually, you got to clean out the old and start fresh. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I, uh, I guess this might be the start of me teaching parlor tricks <laughs> and different techniques, but this is just one that I, I learned. The first time I ever smudged was with sage, and I love the smell of sage, but it struck me that, well, if you can do it with sage, you can do it with anything, because we haven't always used sage. Matter of fact, my ancestors used incense to smudge. Uh, using, what do you call it, using sage to smudge an area comes from the Native Americans. But you have to remember that most incense are made with herbs and oils and things of that nature. So you're not really deviating. You just you just have something that smells a little better. And it's a, and in my opinion it's more about the intention placed into the act, into the breath, than it is the action whatever you're using to smudge. You could probably burn a brown paper bag and have the same effect if you're using the proper breathing technique so that you can put your intention into that that energy. That's what's allowing that energy to manifest physically is the embers and the smoke. <laughs> oh, I giggle to myself. Yeah. Right here is awesome. But it's like, yeah, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to sit here and puff on this for a second. <laughs> uh, I have a relatively small apartment. It's just a little two-bedroom apartment with two bathrooms. So it's really easy to keep my my living space free of negative energy. But sometimes it's not. Sometimes someone's uh, directly projecting onto you. Sometimes you track it in from work like yeah, you're in traffic and then you just start feeling crappy or you're at work and you just start feeling crappy and crappy doesn't mean sick just you start feeling negative you start feeling grumpy or stressed out all of a sudden and then the rah, and they bring it in the house and and negative energy has a tendency to jump from you to the next person it's usually through someone says hey how you doing and you rah, you snap at them or your kid does something rah, you snap at them and it jumps from you to them, and now they start acting crappy. Whoever you snap at, start, you just keep an eye on it. Whoever you snap at starts acting crappy, and now that energy's in your house, or or your home, or wherever you're at. You you could be outside when it happens. It is possible to smudge an outdoor area. <laughs> it is possible, like I smudge from my front door to throughout my entire house, every room in the house. 
especially because I have young teenagers and young teenagers with their constant emotional fluctuations it's just like a dinner, constant dinner bell <laughs> for for all kinds of different energy oh, and smells <laughs> anyway <laughs> so it's it's a really simple technique it's it's not it doesn't take a whole lot of effort the more effort you put into it the better it'll work but it doesn't take a whole lot of effort if you know how to med meditate you know how to do this if you know how to to extend your energy you can do this but the the bre the breathing is what helps cross the emotional physical barrier and helps you put your intention through this item and that's what you're doing as you're putting your energy into this item this and you're breathing through this it's becoming physical as the incense burns or as the sage burns and you can use this that then the more energy you put into it the more effective it will be but bear in mind the more energy you put into your house that's more energy that's going to become stagnant later if you don't air out your house it's even better if you have plants around because you have other living things that also benefit the more living things that benefit from this positive energy the less likely that the energy is going to go stagnant really quickly and but you still want to air out your house to to refresh the it what would you call it the base level energy in the house you're adding to it you need to eventually get it all cleaned out and then start from scratch it's the the best idea I can come up with but that's how I clear out an area I mean it doesn't have to be a big ordeal you don't have to have friends come over you don't have to have a priest come over or or a shaman or anyone you can do it yourself if you can meditate and maybe you're not so good at meditating or maybe you just don't know how to put the energy out there then maybe call someone to have them come over or maybe you didn't think yours was good enough have someone else come over and try it it could be that whatever you're trying to get rid of is just a little bit stronger than you or you think it's a little bit stronger than you so you're having trouble with it <coughs> yeah this was I think a pretty good video to to get back into the swing of things because it's it's something I do all the time even before I do a video most times I'm almost out of incense it's the only reason why I haven't been doing it lately when I make a video I won't smudge the house so much as just raise its vibrational level before I make a video to because I want that good energy to come through in the video and no that doesn't mean oh I'm a good person I just want to convey good energy when I make these videos I don't want to convey negative energy because that wouldn't be very responsible of me <laughs> but yeah I might not make this a whole 30 minute video because there's not a whole lot I can say about smudging your house or cleansing or whatever you would whatever it is you want to call it whatever it is you call it smudging cleansing uh, uh, just removal of negative energy there's not a whole lot you can say on it and I, I've pretty much said all I can on it and and I, I will go over the technique one more time you have your smudge stick either your sage smudge stick or you can use incense and I recommend that if you're gonna use incense don't just use one stick use one stick per room of the house I don't care how many rooms you have in your house if you have 27 rooms use 27 sticks of incense go through the house once go through the house twice and on the third pass leave a stick of incense in every room now as you before you even light the incense or the smudge stick have in your mind the intention you want to lock in pretty much to this smudge stick or this incense now it's in your mind now put it in your heart in a language that your heart can feel because you have to know what this feels like
because that's what you're doing. You're changing the feeling of the house from a negative state to a positive state. You need to know what that feels like. Now, you need to know what that feels like and then put that energy into whatever it is you're using. The, 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 the instrument you're using to smudge with. The, either the incense or the sage. You put it into that before you even light it. Now, you're breathing through that energy just like it's still a part of your emotions. You're just extending your emotions through your arm, up through the incense or the, or the sage. Now, light it. Breathe through the fire that you're lighting. That, that you've lit the fire. You're breathing through the fire, through your... This is all now an emotional thing for you. The fire is part of the emotion. Now it becomes part of the breath. <sighs> the sage or the incense now as it actually becomes embers not as it's on fire but as it actually becomes embers and has the hots at the end of it as some of us would call it breathe through that and as it be as it catches the hots catch feel that and feel it like it just boom hit like a bolt of lightning or a blast of air, boom, through the tip of that. Feel that. Feel that your intention is going to work, your positive intention, or your negative intention of that is what you want to do. <clears throat> now, now that it's lit, continue breathing. Continue your meditation. And if those of you that don't know how to move around while you're meditating, I have a video for that. Bear in mind, my videos are not monetized, so watching any of them doesn't benefit me other than I get a little giggle every time I see the number go up of, on the views. That's it. That's all I benefit. <laughs> you can picture me giggling like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> That's all the benefit I get. Anyway, so you're breathing. You're meditating as you're walking and you're smudging and you're lock you're putting your intention whatever emotion you're trying to lock into the whatever area you're in and you like I said you go through the, the area once you go through the area twice and on the third time if if you're using incense leave an incense in each room if you're just using a, a sage smudge stick just go through the house one more time or the area whatever it is put your smudge stick out when you're done because waste not it's not a single use item <laughs> waste not <laughs> but the incense will keep going now you could continue your meditation on whatever intention you intended to set for your area house whatever and hold in your mind those separate incense sticks and continue breathing that intention <gasps> Ooh, excuse me through those incense sticks but if you're using a smudge stick you're pretty much done with that but you can still breathe through the energy you left in each room if you would like to continue your meditation of cleansing or energy transformation or whatever it is you're trying to do <coughs> and it works but yeah there's not a whole lot I can convey about this particular item so I'm probably gonna cut this short it seems like we're way ahead or just shy like six or eight minutes shy of the 30 minute mark but that's okay because you know me I like to talk and I know you like the sound of my voice so next <laughs> next time you'll get your 30 minute video 30 minutes or so <coughs> excuse me anyway good video I think if you have enjoyed this video please go ahead and click the like button you can favorite it if you want please leave comments down below I would like to hear from you feedback is nice uh, Especially about this. I want to know if it worked or if you have a different technique that I haven't heard about or have never tried. I would like to hear it. So, go ahead and leave comments. 
but uh, if you would like to keep coming back, if this is your first time coming, if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information, because uh, I'm going to be teaching more and more different techniques and this and that and the other, uh, if you would like to keep coming back for that, or you just like the sound of my voice, <laughs> then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, you hang in there.